most admirable for the for the kids. They even uh, running after the bike. It's very durable and it's very practical matter and uh, build a very strong uh, for the countryside road. And uh, today, um, why I started to do architecture to teach the students how to build, I use the bike to, to, to tell them you can build with any material, not just bricks and the concrete. Uh, so that's how it started. And I, I think it's interesting to use uh, uh, ready-made. Uh, of course, we can think about Duchamp's uh, bike wheels. <coughs> he used to make one on a stool. So I, I kind of uh, uh, use this uh, uh, ready-made, and uh, which is something the whole society are very familiar with. And even today, uh, in the rich nations, the biking and the, to, to, to exercise, to have a healthy lifestyle, is very popular. So it's really related to people and citizens. And, uh, but in China, it's changing. You know, the, the more cars are being bought, and the air is very polluted. So there's many, many aspects of the bike. I'm an artist living in China. I have to express myself through my uh, my feelings or my the sense I can uh, really touch or, or to make the difference about it. It's very difficult because the society is very limited on freedom of expression or freedom of speech. So it often become a, a, a very political act, even if you just uh, want to make a uh, so-called very artistic work, but still be considered as something uh, questioning the uh, authority or, or, or even uh, criticize the authorities. So the consequence is uh, unfortunately uh, happened and it's still happening. I'm still very restricted and under very strong surveillance. And uh, my, uh, I still don't have my passport. Uh, and uh, you know, it's always under this kind of threat to to be put in uh, even worse condition again. Um, but uh, this is my life. I have to uh, respect it. I have to uh, make some uh, possibilities, and uh, not just for myself. The effort I made, I think, uh, it helps uh, many many other people with. Uh, uh, who's in similar situation or even worse because many uh, people I know still in jail or only because they, they're poet, poet or writers or, or just young students. They have uh, different opinions than they've been just put in jail. So my situation is not uh, the worst and uh, I still can make some noise and uh, uh, have some expression. So it can uh, make me feel I'm uh, responsible or I am uh, uh, do have the, some kind of uh, responsibility for speak out. Because we live in a very severe political uh, uh, circumstance and the whole condition are quite uh, uh, tough. But you're fighting for something which is very essential uh, for uh, uh, for the society, such as humanity or or individualism or freedom of speech. So we have to have some humor uh, with it uh, because the struggle itself, uh, in many many cases, is quite absurd and. Uh, you know, the, you can face in jail or, or, or you can be uh,
disappeared, and the judicial system is completely corrupted, and uh, it happens daily, and not to you, but also to you know people around you or people you know. Then you cannot give a real fight. So the humor become a, a, a very convenient expression for express uh, certain anxiety and anger. I think the artist has the responsibility to address any issues which relate to his life or the life which he cares about, and uh, to protect the dignity of life, to protect a, a better society, which of course is the responsibility for artists, and is artists should feel more responsible than any uh, other people because the farmer have to worry about weather, how those, uh, uh, you know, the, what uh, those plants growing in the field, worker have to worry about something else. But uh, as artist, you have to protect freedom of uh, speech, you have to protect the freedom of thinking. And uh, if you don't do so, you are irresponsible artist. Um, I, as an artist, I try to use a different kind of uh, uh, media or so different expressions, but the idea is, is the same. It's just trying to express myself freely uh, without fear or without uh, uh, worry about uh, censorship and what, where is the limit. I think only by exercising these rights, we can become a, a civilized, a healthier society. You can always find a new language. And uh, I think this is uh, also a value of the art, is to promote freedom. Um, if the uh, art cannot do it, I don't think the art is needed. I start to use music and uh, of course, it sounds a bit uh, silly because I never really know anything about music. But uh, I was born with a voice. I, I trust that. I think uh, uh, anybody can make a sound, and the sound can become a mu mu music, especially today. And uh, this is uh, easy uh, for anybody to make music. The uh, idea is to be heard, to make some uh, noise or to make some, a sound, and uh, to be heard. So, and uh, I think the music audience are different from the uh, uh, visual art audience. I think the music audience are broader, and uh, normally they're also younger. So I try to always create a possibility for different uh, group of people to to be conscious about what is happening. I feel I become a, a more symbolic for young people or for the people uh, less fortunate, uh, for ordinary people to to realize their own power, and uh, I think. Uh, this is uh, what I want to do, and to show people you can do it, and that you, your, your act um, is uh, relevant and make a difference. And uh, if we all act, and the world can change. I, I never worry that I can become a, a, a symbol or a brand, uh, because if the brand is for freedom, or if the, the bread is for imagination. And uh, I think uh, those qualities can be associated uh, for anybody. I will never see I want to leave China permanently. I, even if I got my passport back, you know, passport is for travel. It's not just for leaving, also it's for arriving. And, uh, you know, I think the world is, uh, is a sphere and, uh, you know, you can be anywhere you like to. This is uh, it's our, you know, it's our planet. I often think of what scares the Chinese government the most. It's not uh, uh, just the language I use, or it's not uh, 
just something I criticize, but rather is uh, my attitude, my influence to the young people, and uh, to question authority, to 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 make them answering, uh, to to insist uh, for truth, and uh, to make people aware or conscious about value of life and the uh, and, uh, important value of individual and uh, all those qualities which uh, any authoritarian society is uh, scared of and uh, I think that's why I make them so scared. Uh, the next thing uh, I do is just uh, stay alive and, uh, and uh, make some noise or or continuously do what I do.